I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. On this Tuesday, September 6th, the primary weather feature we are watching is low pressure that's going to be passing just south of the Aleutian change in the North Pacific. It's going to link up with a more energy in another low that's located back toward the North Central Bering. And what's going to happen is this low is going to then be pulled across the Alaska Peninsula and kind of back up toward the northwest and be located over uh, the lower uh, Kuskokwim Delta by Thursday afternoon. But ahead of it, an atmospheric river, a surge of deeper moisture is going to ride northeastward and take aim along the western and northern Gulf Coast, especially there in the areas surrounding Prince William Sound where heavy rainfall is likely later Wednesday night through Thursday, Friday into early Saturday. As much as five to seven inches of rain could fall with locally higher rainfall totals in some of the coastal mountains there surrounding Prince William Sound and areas near Cordova. Uh, another note to pass along, a flood advisory continues on the upper Kenai River from Kenai Lake uh, down through the upper river into uh, Ski Lack Lake as a result of a glacier dammed lake outburst that occurred that feeds into Kenai Lake. Uh, the river is reported at minor flood stage, meaning it's beyond bankful. Very hazardous waiting for any uh, recreational fishermen, so uh, ex uh, just uh, be advised, uh, use extreme caution if uh, trying to work your way along that bank. Uh, the people fishing from boats are still able to get down there okay. Otherwise, uh, gusty winds will also develop in areas of the Alaska Range into the central interior, including Fairbanks starting later Wednesday night, especially during the day Thursday into early Friday morning as a result of a tightening pressure gradient as that low works its way up through the southwest side of the state. It's going to force a frontal system eastward uh, that will be pressing through south central areas and especially along and south of the Alaska Range. But the main uh, weather feature with this system will be some gusty winds and again the heavier rainfall that will be concentrated especially in areas surrounding Prince William Sound. Overall we do anticipate a rather wet pattern to continue for the next week or two, especially across uh, the southwest and south central areas of the mainland. Uh, otherwise, no re real pattern change coming up and temperatures should average near to a bit above normal, especially northern parts of the state. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.